Uh, so I get a lot of questions about what CRPS is, what it looks like, um, how it affects my life, which makes sense. It's a pretty rare disease and a lot of doctors have never even seen a patient of it. I've met quite a few physical therapists who've never met a single patient with it, considering how long most of us are in physical therapy for. It's kind of mind blowing. Um, CRPS type two, which I have affects about one in 10 CRPS patients meaning it only affects about one in 50,000 people. So yeah, it's a little unusual. Um, and I thought I'd go ahead and grab a quick video, kindly ignore my mismatched socks. They were what I could find. Um, <laughs> my feet were cold, um, but I thought I'd grab a quick video because I wanted to show everybody what my legs look like tonight. Um, I've been standing up for a little while because I was working on a project. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because you can't see my legs against one that's not massively swollen. Um, but you can actually like, kind of get an idea. There's an indent here that's just from the swelling. And there's a large lump above it. Um, this discoloration, you can see that it's pasty with a patchy red. That's all due to the circulatory problems that come with CRPS. Um, you can see the discoloration through my ankles. That's fairly permanent at this point. Um, and then if I get my socks off here, you can see my feet and ankles at their worst. It kind of shows you what CRPS can look like. You know, you can see how my feet are on one color, you know, to the ankle and then another color through the mid toe. And then my lower feet and toes are um, a very different color. My right foot is always my worst, my right leg is. And you can see how immensely swollen it is right now. I mean, I can't even, usually it's jiggly and it's so firm. It's not even jiggly anymore. It's actually getting firm. Um, from fluid and I, I really have relatively skinny feet um, and legs honestly and you can see how large everything is this bruising is actually from the swelling it can break um, open blood vessels and cause swelling you can see more of this discoloration a lot of this discoloration is actually permanent at this point after so many years um, you can also see how thin the skin is and you can see like my heels tear up really easily. You can see all these red patches from where they've torn open. Uh, apparently, part in the fuzz, I had a band-aid on there earlier and the fuzz is now sticking to the, the moisture. Uh, <laughs> but um, but yeah, you can see where, where it uh, tears itself apart. Um, and it's not really fun to deal with, but you know, it's one of the many symptoms. And uh, so yeah, these are, what CRPS feet can look like. So, you know, discolored, swollen, thin skinned. You can't really see the shiny skin very well on camera, but um, the skin actually can get shiny. You can kind of see it through there. Um, so, you can tell how full of fluid I am just by. <laughs> but yeah, so this is what severe edema and a CRPS patient can look like. Um, and actually, this is not that severe of a case compared to some. This is far worse than I ever used to be. Uh, the last three years have been my worst for swelling. There are people though whose limbs are perpetually much larger even than this, which is kind of insane when you think about it because I mean, you can see that I'm already having circulatory problems and skin tearing open and all sorts of things. And I don't even wanna know what it looks like when you're that much worse. So, uh, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> 